So here we are at the Alamo. This is hallowed ground where Texans long ago fired real bullets at other human beings and killed them for liberty. And now they're scared of words in 44 point font on my chest. Get out of here, you're dangerous. You can't have a sign here. You can't practice free speech here. We're scared of your unspoken words. Oh my goodness, how pathetic has this nation become? This nation of Texas deserved to be overrun. Okay, but we all do, really, for our sins. The red hand syndrome. I just coined this term this afternoon as I was thinking about what I saw at the Alamo. The red hand. Did you all see this at the crosswalks? It goes, boop, boop, boop. I guess so the blind people don't wander off into the road and get run over. <laughs> boop, stop. Boop, don't walk. So I'm standing there at the crosswalk, thinking about the red hand, and I notice that across the street there are 12 people. 12, I counted them. Standing there, staring at the red hand. Boop, boop. They're not walking. They're not looking left or right. They're just waiting for the hand to stop. And I look this way, and for 200 yards, there's no car, and there's a barricade. And then I look this way, and for 400 yards, there's no cars, and way down there, almost out of sight, there's a barricade. The road is shut down. Beep, don't walk. Beep, and the sheep will just stand there. What? What's stopping you from crossing the road? Beep. What? Just cross the road. What's stopping us from abolishing abortion? The Supreme Court just goes, unconstitutional, unconstitutional, nope. And we go, I'll just stay here. Just cross the river. God will part the waters. Ignore them. They don't carry a gun. They can't arrest you. It's a blinking red hand for crying out loud. Oh my gosh. You know, you guys can go across because they shut the road down. <laughs> oh, okay. If I hadn't said anything to them, they would have stood there for the entire three minutes. <sighs> That's the red hand syndrome. Go and spread the word. Cross the road to the other side, to the promised land.